I'm going to do a quick guide on how to do some basic in-painting. With in-painting, you can make an image that looks like this look more like this. Okay, so we're just going to do a quick explanation of how to in-paint with Forge UI and SDXL. I'm just going to take this image here. You can see that it is, you know, there's some stuff in the background and some stuff that I could essentially improve or make more interesting or make better. So I'm just going to kind of use in-painting to do some stuff to this image. So first of all, I am in the image to image tab. I'm just have my basic negative prompt and sort of like a stylistic end prompt. And I'm in in-paint. I've got mass blur, such a sort of defaults here, a lot of defaults here. I'm going to do original and only masked right now. I'm just going to use these basic settings, which are good for this checkpoint that I'm using. And right now I'm at 0.75. I'm actually going to bring this down to like something like 0.6 for this first sort of point. So let's start with just some generic stuff. I'm going to sort of adjust this ship back here to be a little bit more unique and, and detailed. I'm going to zoom in on this here. Just kind of paint over it. All right, that's a little bit better. So now I'm gonna go ahead and bring this image into this one here. And we'll go ahead and clear out our mask and we'll make a new one. Let's go ahead and do this just to make this part a little more interesting. Glowing red orb. Something like that. Let's change this down to like 6.6 .6 again. I'm just right now, I'm just kind of trying to match this ship's aesthetics a little bit more to this ship's aesthetics because I kind of like this one's. Okay, so we need more denoising. Okay, so that's a little bit better, but I want to go farther. So I'm going to just drag this over so we have like a new base point. Maybe go some like orange in there. Looks like I might need to raise the denoising even more. So I'm going to go up to like 0.75. Okay, I'm actually going to... so. Right now, it's sort of doing what I want it to do, but not in the way that I want it to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of sketching. So I'm gonna do, whoops. I'm gonna do in-paint sketch. So I'm gonna draw this over. Do in-paint sketch on my brush width here. And I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna draw this on. And again, I'm not trying to do like a super precise job of this right now. If I wanted to do something like that, I would take it into Photoshop or something like that to do these edits. I'm just kind of showing the in-painting process. Okay. Let's try that. I'm gonna bring my denoising down more. Okay, so this is a little bit more what I'm going for. So I'm actually going to bring this back into this section here. And then I'm going to take it back to regular in painting like this. So that's pretty much what I want for that one. Now I'm going to bring it back into here and I'm going to do like a pass on the whole ship again. Now, this one is sort of like a little bit more dark colored and like less shiny. Okay, I like that quite a bit better. All right, now let's move on towards some of this stuff um, on the bottom right over here. So 
the first thing I'm going to do here is try to blend a lot of this stuff out in one go. I'm going to try ocean. Got a pretty low denoising. Again, just going to pass this over and do it again. Okay. That's pretty cleared out at this point and pretty well blended. Like there's infinitesimal you can kind of see that there's like some weirdness but it's pretty hard to see at this point we're gonna move on to this ship I want this to kind of look a little bit like that other ship not that we can control that super well without photoshopping or drawing but we're gonna try to adjust its shape to be a little bit more like that other ship do something like this tall radio tower Okay, so to try to make that, this this ship right here kind of look like it's this ship coming out of the water, we're going to see what we can do by just doing prompts and stuff. We'll see. We might need to do some photoshopping. Okay, so this is not working super good. So what we're going to do is essentially use Photoshop to make this a little bit easier. Okay, so what I did was basically just took this image into Photoshop, um, selected this, uh, copy and pasted it in, and then cut it up a little bit and then de uh, scaled it down and put it basically in the corner over here where this ship was. Now, obviously it's not perfect, Angle's a little bit off, all that stuff, but that's the unpainting will help with that part. So I'm just gonna cover most of this up like so. And then again, I've got this triangular spacecraft coming out of the ocean, tall radio antenna, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to lower my denoising to 0.4 because I'm pretty close to what I want as far as my actual image. Okay, we need a little bit more denoising. Okay, so that actually looks pretty good. It's not exactly the same, but it's similar enough to be visually similar enough. Okay. Now let's try to remove this stuff over here in this background area. Just gonna write ocean mist fog to kind of blend this out. We'll try something like four or five to begin with. Okay, we already got rid of some of it. Okay, a bit more is gone. We're gonna go in and readjust here. Try a bit more denoising. All right, it's kind of struggling to get rid of that part, so I'm actually gonna try fill and lowering it down to like 0.4. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty good at this point. Now we're gonna work on this ship over here. Now we're going to, now that we've got this masked out pretty well, we're gonna go ahead and put this prompt back in something like this okay so now that we got it masked out we're gonna try a little prompt like this we're gonna go to original we're gonna try 0.5 Let's see how this works we don't want to change it too much but we do want to improve its visual look
So basically what I did was took it into Photoshop again and did some editing, editing. so now it kind of looks like this. Which again, this is not great, but at least it's going to be a little bit easier for the thing to figure out what it wants to do here. So I'm just going to mask this area here, something like that. And then we'll lower our, our denoising back down to something like 0.4. Okay, so that's basically how you do in painting. If you've made it this far, it'd be cool if you comment on the video with what you want to see next. Thanks for watching. It'd be really cool if you liked and subscribed. It helps a lot with discoverability. Thank you.